go ahead and open up Procreate. Click yourself a new screen size canvas. I'm gonna teach you how to use the perspective tool or the drawing guide to do a perspective drawing on Procreate in a way that is very easy. Go ahead and click on the wrench, select canvas, and turn on the drawing guide. You're gonna to need to edit the drawing guide and go ahead and click where it says perspective. At this point, make sure your thickness is somewhere between 70 and 100 and that your opacity is turned to max. And then you're gonna go ahead and tap to create a vanishing point. Go ahead and tap once to create a vanishing point um, somewhere on your page. That's good. And then you can actually move this if you decide you don't like it. You can move it around if you just click and drag. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. If you scroll around the top, it will change the color of your lines, which is not important, but you should have them so that you can see them. And then go ahead and hit done. Okay. What this is doing is it's creating an area for you to draw in perspective. All right, at this point, let's choose a tool to draw with. Um, let's go with inking and let's go with the technical pen. Make sure that your pencil or your technical pen is large enough and your opacity is turned all the way up. Next thing we're gonna do is click on the layer. Tap it and click on drawing assist. What this is gonna do is it's going to enable you to only draw in one point perspective. Okay, So let's start by drawing a square because remember in one point perspective you always start with the front of a box or a block or a building and connect those lines all right so I want to make a box in one point perspective my vanishing point is over towards the left okay you don't have to find it it will automatically draw it for you and remember to finish off your box you just drop down a vertical and now I have a box in perfect one point perspective. Now I wanna go ahead and erase those areas where um, I've overdrawn. In order to do that, I have to draw, turn off drawing assist first, and then I can select my eraser tool and I can get in here and erase those areas where I've overdrawn. Okay. Now, that's showing an example of one point perspective directly on the horizon line. What I want you to do after this is create one that's above and one that's below. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and create a new canvas. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but now we're going to do it in two point perspective. Again, draw, turn the drawing guide on, edit your drawing guide, click on perspective. You can change your color at the top if you'd like, but this time, let's select two vanishing points instead. Okay. Hit done. And now let's do the same thing. Make sure you're still on the technical pen. And click on your layer. Turn on your drawing assist. Now we're gonna make the corner when we draw our sides, remember, it can only go to the vanishing point. You, could, you saw that line move. It moved to match your vanishing point. And now we have a box drawn in two-point perspective directly on the horizon line. Go ahead and do the same thing and draw one above the horizon line and one below the horizon line. Once you've done that, you're going to go back to your gallery you're going to create a new page. Click on your wrench, edit your drawing guide, click on perspective. This time, let's create three vanishing points. One, two, and three. You can either create it at the top or at the bottom. It doesn't much matter. Click done. Remember, if you pinch, you can zoom out on your screen. So this time, let's go ahead and do one in three-point perspective. Click on your layer, drawing assist. Now, same thing, we're gonna start with our corner. This time we're going to go to our vanishing points. Vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point. Watch what happens here. Instead of making a vertical, it's going to go to that third vanishing point, which is at the top. 
And again, in order to erase my areas that I've overdrawn, turn off the drawing assist, at which point you can go ahead and erase from there. So when we're finished, you will have three different pages, one with three one-point perspective squares, one with three two-point perspective squares, and one with three three-point perspective squares. You can see the pictures of my examples that are posted in Schoology.